Not all racing drivers, while they're resting and recuperating, getting ready for what will be a big 2022, just hang around on a beach. Well, this one does, obviously. Today on Is It Fast, we're talking to Michael Creasy Crease, the Lord of Quickness and the current owner of the Jack Sears Trophy. It's like nothing, nothing says racing like sand under your feet. Mate, this is crazy. <laughs> I love it down here now. I'm down here every, every morning. It'll bring back so. good memories of being on Is It Fast. It's like, couldn't quite make it to T4 on the beach, yeah. but you can make it to Is yeah. It Fast on the sand. It's just, brilliant, Everyone's sort of just looking and going, what's going on down there? That's it. Big news, mate. Your big news. Um, hello, mate. How are you? I'm, I'm well. How are you? Very well. Welcome to Is It Fast? Yeah. Thank on the you beach in your hometown of Broadstairs. Yes, yeah, it's incredible. Which is, it's it's beautiful. I, I can I can see why you why you reside here. It's it's lovely. Um, the only different difficult side of being in Broadstairs is you're about six hours from any racetrack. <laughs> <laughs> this is true. You're probably there's, there's France, France over there. is just there that we can see that like 22 miles and we're 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 pretty much French. So it's easier for you to get to Le Mans yeah. than Silverstone, <laughs> yeah, isn't it? To a degree. Much. No, fair one. Um, but talking of the continent, you spent some time over in in Europe, yeah. didn't you, this year? So yeah. before we talk about anything else, how did you find being in an international Porsche driver? part of the F1 circus. Well, That's crazy. I, I mean, it was all all happened so fast, didn't it? Obviously, we were talking, and, and when we, we first got talking about having a chat, it was all about British Touring Car, and, um, you know, that's how it looked. And we had media day, and we, we were going to get together then, and, and then we could hear some ruptions come in, so that's why we sort of put it off. And, uh, and then the Porsche thing come about with Team Parker, and... Um, before you knew it, I, I was I was literally shipped off to Silverstone. I had uh, I had a, an hour and a half test uh, at Silverstone, and um, and then we were off to Monaco the following Wednesday, I think it was. So it all come around a bit too quick. And, <laughs> yeah. And uh, at Silverstone, when I got in the Porsche, I've never driven a Porsche in my life, and um, to to then jump in a rear wheel drive car rear engine and trying to uh, uh, drive it around Silverstone I got to the end of the pit lane my first ever time and uh, and then the, the heavens opened and I was on <laughs> slick tyres so just to get in it from the pit lane back to the <laughs> pit lane uh, with, with slicks on in the wet was quite fun but to be fair I mean that's kind of just a a, a a, a small example of your racing career to that point you've kind of just you've jumped in both feet from the start because you were a bit of a late bloomer weren't yeah. you really you started kind of where well, you were slightly more mature in life I think oh, it's, that's I a think nice it's, way it's it. a nice way yeah 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 exactly <laughs> nah, um, I, yeah well, it was uh, but every step I've ever done in my racing career has been monumental mm -hmm. you know going from not racing like higher carts basically to to um, jumping in the G40 in 2017 was a big step I've never been in a car on a track before um and then uh, obviously going from the G40 to the G55 from 100 horsepower to 400 horsepower <laughs> yeah. uh, was, was a big step and we succeeded in that and then going from, from GT4 Super Cup to uh, British Touring Car which is another massive step and then to, to go from Touring Car to Porsche Super Cup with the best drivers in the world um, you know, that, it was an incredible experience and uh, I learnt so much and that's why I can't wait to get back to racing in the UK because I I feel like uh, I'm, I've sort of raised my game a little bit. Now. Yeah, yeah, and uh, yeah, being amongst the world's best can only be a good thing, right? Because yeah. it, it pits you against the absolute upper echelons of, of 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 ability. So it's kind of yeah, the Jamie Vardy of racing continues, <laughs> uh, I, I, I guess. Um, but coming back to the UK, you you, you have your sight set on 2022 I'm not going to put you on the spot and get get you to tell us all what you're doing oh, yeah, I'm, um, I'm more than happy to, <laughs> to tell you what, what's going on, um, Go on then. at the moment we're, we're obviously looking at British Touring Car 
um, probably where I should be and where my brand is and where the fans are and the media and everything, and that's where, where I feel at home. I think this year would have been my year in the in the BTC racing uh, car, Honda. I think going off of where we were at practice with, mm. you know, matching Josh Cook, even beating Josh Cook in practice and, and, and being P1 at media day, um, and seeing what that car's gone to do this year, I think I would have easily had, had a couple of race wins and maybe, who knows, fighting for the yeah. championship. But wasn't to be. Um, so I think there's some unfinished business in touring car. Whether that's 2022 with hybrid, possibly. I mean, I've got a lot of contacts with Porsche now, maybe Super Cup again, um, maybe Porsche Carrera Cup, GB. Um Stuart Lyons wants me to go over the, over to TCR and head up, the, <laughs> head up the TCR campaign because that's getting stronger and stronger every year. Um, and I think it's a cool little series, to be fair. And uh, I do think one day, you know, you're going to see a lot of British touring car drivers in in TCR. And, and you think, want to be on Is It Fast more, obviously. Yeah, yeah, exactly. 2022 yeah. TCR on, on Is It Fast. Tune in. No, I mean, I'm, I'm open to whatever at the moment. Um uh, it's a company um, who, who do uh, radicals as well, and they want me to go out and test the new radical in Portimao in in, in uh, Portugal in November. Um, so who knows? Like that could be a, a factory sort of thing that yeah. I'm looking at with them guys. Um, you know, at the minute I'm not in no right. I'm just enjoying being uh, <laughs> on the beach in Broadstairs, um, eating and drinking whatever I want. Yeah, and, exactly. Uh, saying goodbye to the Jacks is because uh, it's going to my good friend Dan Robotham. That's that's <laughs> it, and 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 that and that brings us very nicely onto what has been quite quite an interesting season for for the British Touring Car Championship. Obviously, last year you were the the very well earned. Yeah. Recipient of of the Jack Sears Trophy, um, which I know you're very fond of. Yeah, I love it, man. Yeah, which I is which I'm is sad to see it go off my uh, off yeah my mantelpiece. Yeah, it's. It, I can imagine you'll you'll notice it missing quite quickly yeah. due to the fact that it's <laughs> not small. Um, but as you say, it's carrying off, it, a child round. Right? Yeah, this is it. Yeah, you've got yourself a newborn just constantly <laughs> with you strapped in. Um, but it is going to Robo, so congratulations, Dan, yeah, for yeah. for that. Um, it kind of yeah was never in doubt for about halfway through the season. I, I think. Yeah. yeah um, I, to be fair, I said to him, if you don't win that, it's, it's, you know, you're assess your options. Stick off of that <laughs> yeah. Because he's, he's in probably the best car on the grid. Oh yeah, without the best cars on the grid. Without a doubt. Um, but it is time to hand it over. Um, but with that in mind, we've got the final final weekend of brands, pretty close at the top. Who do you think is going to be first, second, third at, for for the end of the year? I'd love, I'd love my good mate uh, Jay Kill to 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 spring a surprise, but Ash Sutton is just a class act. And, yeah. Uh, I've watched him over the last six races at Croft and and Donington and Silverstone, you know, last nine races, and he's just drove them so well. Yeah. He's he's been calm. He's he's, he's done a Colin Turkington esque. Yeah. Drive and he's. <laughs> uh, he hasn't been. He hasn't taken too many risks. I mean, watching him at Donington this weekend, he dropped back to eighth place. Just let it all calm down, and then you just start picking them off one by one and finish fourth. And when you drive the Infinity uh, um, with seventy five kilo on and 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 can put it in the top four yeah. in qualifying five, you know, I mean, he's got a great package around him, and I, I can't see him. I can't see him losing it. To be honest, I think mm -hmm. um, it'd be interesting to see what happens <laughs> after. Obviously, winning it twice with laser tools yeah yeah to see where he's going to be next year um there's, a, there's some rumors flying around but i won't go into but, uh, <laughs> but yeah we'll see we'll see um we'll see what happens but i think i think i think ash will do it tingram's probably going to miss out this year but he's mm. had a great season oh it's unbelievable um, right considering he only jumped in that car beginning yeah, of the year right i mean yeah. what was that like, I mean, how you couldn't have put I didn't think that was going to happen. No. Not that I'm very qualified in these things, but and, at the same time, the car the car was good last year with Proctor mm. and um, and Smiley. It was it it showed its potential, but he's come along with his engineer. He brought his engineer from mm -hmm. Toyota, and uh, they just re really sort of reinvented the wheel. And the problem was with that car it had a lot of understeer last year, and they struggled to get the front end. Where Ingram drives a complete different car, he loves it a bit leery on the rear. And yeah, I think he's drives a bit loose, doesn't he? Quite nicely, yeah. <laughs> I mean, the problem Iondi got there and accelerate is obviously the weight. Yeah, uh, as soon as he gets any weight, and he struggles. But then so is so is Jake. Um, so I think pre-season you'll see a lot of people out testing with a lot of weight because obviously the hybrids come in. It's it's fifty, sixty kilo extra weight. Yeah, in the car. Um, 
but you know that goes to show that the Infinity is going to be a hell of a package <laughs> yeah. next year, doesn't it? Yeah, exactly. Well, there you go. Ash for the title, probably. But if not, then Jakey boy. Yeah, that's what that's yeah. what we want to see. Well, with that, thank you very much for coming on to Is It Fast. Thank you for showing us. Uh, your broad stairs, yeah, because it's uh, it makes a nice difference. Doesn't smell of petrol. Yeah, and I appreciate you guys coming down here, like to see, you, like you know, to do this at my hometown, and you know, <laughs> we've got a lot of sponsors locally here as well in broad stairs, and uh, you know, it's, it's, it's just it's just a great atmosphere down here, and especially when it's a bit of a nicer day. It's, <laughs> it's a nice day this morning, but I don't know where everyone is. So yeah, yeah. Hiding, when but, it's, yeah, no, yeah. Cheers for coming down. Yeah, we, we cleared the beach especially for you. <laughs> VVIP treatment, Chrissy, mate. Thank Cheers, you ever mate. so much. Thank you very much. See you on the much. grid next year. Yeah, Cheers, buddy.